All right, Perspective 928 buyers. Hope you're doing well. We're gonna demonstrate a cold start of the vehicle to see how it sounds on the right from the, uh, from the get go. So as we're gonna demonstrate here, the engine is cold as indicated by the fuel or temperature gauge. All right, so here we go. demonstrate the sunroof opening. Here we go. So this is a 1982 4.5 liter 928. I've had this car for about a year and a half. I've put almost 4,000 miles on it. It's been a blast to drive. Um, you know, the kind of the interesting thing about the 928 for the 82 series, they often get kind of knocked. Uh, for not having a lot of power but the one thing people don't realize with the 82s and i've had 79s 82s 84s 85s and 87s is that they're reliable and they're a little bit more uh, headache free in the sense that you can get away with 87 octane as by manufacturer specs and at the same time um you know if you do have a timing belt breakage you're not worried about losing the entire engine. So there's a little peace of mind with that as well. And you know, they only have about 225-ish horsepower. But the thing that people also don't remember is that they do have 255 foot-pounds of torque. So when you're on the highway, you have more than enough, more than enough horsepower and torque to get to pass and you know, absolutely have a good time while you're driving it. I really enjoy driving this car. It's smooth, um, it's a lot of fun, and it shifts good, even for the age on the box. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's, you know, we're shifting pretty smooth. I can even double, you know, uh, double clutch down in a third without it grinding. Um, and these old boxes, you have to, you have to be, you have to be gentle. These cars were never meant to be straight line racers. The transmissions were never meant to be straight line racers, um, as most enthusiasts already know that. These cars were geared more for GT, uh, touring, cruises, things of that nature, and that's really where they uh, thrive at. Um, so that being said, we're sitting in about fourth gear here. We're cruising along. A couple of things I've done this year on this car since I've owned it. We put the uh, Greg Brown fuel lines in for safety. So those are taken care of the other ones were really bad shape so you've got the greg brown fuel lines you've got the upgraded fuel line injector hoses in so the fuel injector hoses have been replaced um the actual air front and engine wiring harness has been replaced the brake boosters been replaced um and as, as you could you know if you go watch the road here um you know this car no hands tracks very very well very well um, and if we brake it I'm braking right now it brakes very straight and smooth pedal is firm and the clutch is tight uh, it's got a good feel to the clutch and uh, so those are some of the things that we've been we've been working on we're gonna get on the road here a little bit we'll get a little bit of a, a little speed here show you the shifting on how we're doing I'm trying to think of other things we've done this year we have uh, replaced the fuel sender um, and uh, we've uh, replaced uh, or actually fixed the sunroof. The sunroof was 
a real bear to replace and fix, but that's working great. Uh, made replaced all the side wiring mirrors. Um, so a lot of a lot of TLC type items that these cars generally demand. So here we are. We're gonna go, we're gonna punch it here. Going to second. A little bit of a grind. Going to second. Third. So if you get on it, second and third are gonna give you a little bit of feedback. If you don't get on it. You'll be okay. Now, if I double clutch going from fourth to third, row clutch. There we go. That double clutch worked right there. As you can see, she moves along pretty well. Very smooth, minimal road noise. Um, again, I just really enjoy driving this car. So, uh, it works, except air conditioning does not come on. I did check the clutch for the air conditioning, uh, putting a 12 volt source to it. And you do, you will get the clutch to pop, the compressor clutch. But uh, on the long list of uh, or thing of time and, and energy and money, this was I fell short on that list to to replace. So uh, kind of went after more of the mechanical stuff, things that need that need attention. Um, I'd definitely say once this transmission warms up, uh, a little bit of that grinding, you get second to third, which is common in these cars because of the synchros um, and the dog teeth. They just weren't, wasn't a very good design. Porsche fixed that in 85, but uh, this is an 82. So, uh, this, you know, this is part of, the, part of the heritage of this car. All right.